start off by telling you why the next genius foundation was established uh, the vision uh, behind next genius foundation was to help extraordinary students just like yourself win life changing scholarships some of the best colleges in the us yeah uh, and uh, since the very first year we have been uh, following this vision very strongly uh, the vision again it's it's to help you to help the scholars become the future leaders of the society right so all of you who are here today uh, you you are on the track of becoming leaders of the future right uh, so all the scholars who won the scholarship congratulations you are one of the 233 scholars or scholarship winners who won this scholarship out of close to 5000 students who applied to us this year uh, you should be proud of yourself that's an amazing achievement you your family your school i'm sure they're all proud of what you have achieved uh congratulations for that of of all of you uh 20 of you have already uh deposited the enrollment deposit which means you have already uh, decided to join the next seniors community uh we welcome you to the community it's it's a great pleasure to have all of you uh those 20 students who deposited had multiple acceptances uh, and they eventually decided to uh, join this community so we we are thrilled to have you join us to all the others who are still deciding uh, let me just help you uh, by sharing a few tips on how to decide right so uh, we we always talk about good fit and i think it's very important for us as a community as the next genius community to ensure that the students who join the community uh, feel that they are in the right place right and that happens when you uh, decide your college on the basis of fit right so when i say fit uh, there, there is not just one kind of fit but there are various things that define fit right uh, and and i have taken four a uh, special or four uh, parameters on which uh, to define fit number one is uh, whether an institute is a financial fit for you second is academic third is uh, whether it's a social fit for you and finally fourth one is a personal fit right so let me start off with financial fit so an institute or a college will be a financial fit for you if uh, you know you have got a certain scholarship or um, if you are able to afford it financially depending upon uh, whether you would need to take an education loan how much your family can contribute considering all those factors it will help you decide or it will help you determine whether a college uh, makes sense for you financially or not right uh, when it comes to comparing multiple colleges you can compare the offers offered uh, by you by multiple institutions somewhere you would have received a better scholarship somewhere you would have received lesser scholarship or not no scholarship at all uh, so that is one factor that you need to discuss with your parents you need to sit with your uh, mom and dad and see how much uh, the family can uh, invest into your education right so that's what is care of financial fit second one is academic fit now um, of course uh, when it comes to academics the first thing is what is the major that you are planning to study whether that major is offered at the college of course it it is offered because that's why uh, you shortlisted that college from the next genius list uh, what are the kind of faculty members uh, at the campus uh, what are the facilities available at the campus uh, what are some labs or some other uh, sort of special uh, uh, clubs and organizations which are there uh, whether you get access to all those uh, labs or uh, you know whether access is limited to only students who are pursuing phd and so so that takes care of academic fit whether a, a college is an academic fit for you or not again uh, you also need to see the academic rigor of the course that you are taking whether the course uh, offers uh, whether it's competitive whether it challenges you to do better or whether it's uh, not that challenging 
uh, whether it's beyond a certain level you know where you have to where you might burn out so you need to see where uh, the academic rigor uh, stands where you stand in that uh, scale of academic rigor being offered by the college where, where you are uh, deciding to go the third kind of fit uh, so we had uh, financial academic third is social fit now social is uh, what what is the campus culture uh, what are the clubs and organizations uh, at the college campus uh, what is the class size like yeah uh, i remember our, our very first scholar anushka beaten she mentioned to me that uh, she was able to dine with president uh, dennis hano so small liberal arts colleges offer an opportunity to not just engage with the faculty members uh, and the professors but also uh, at the very uh, top leaderships uh, leadership members at the college so uh, th that's the campus culture over there right so, so whereas on the other side if you decide to go to a big state university uh, you will get lots and lots of facilities but you might not get that level of personal uh, personal connection with with the faculty members with the professors there so campus culture what is the campus culture like what are the sports uh, being offer uh, you know sporting opportunities some for some of you who are sport enthusiasts uh, that is again an important part of deciding and finally the fourth thing is personal fit so financial fit academic fit uh, social fit and personal fit personal fit is are the factors that are very close to your heart or that are very very specific to you whether you want to go to a small town whether you want to go to a college town which is just a small town just like uh, wheaton is in a college town ethica college is in a college town uh, or you want to go to a larger city uh, so wentworth institute of technology is located in boston so it's so what is the kind of place that you would like to go to right uh, what is the kind of weather condition you would be uh, comfortable with Uh, what are some special features of a college that attracts you personally right those are the things that you should consider when you are deciding to go to the college so uh, if some of you joined late what i was talking about right now is i was helping you decide how to select the college that you should go to uh, from the multiple acceptances that you might have right uh And there were four things once again uh, financial fit uh, academic fit social fit and personal fit but then finally there is one more thing uh, that uh, is only available to the next senior scholars and that is uh, the opportunity to be a part of the next senior community and yes community uh, is a way to build a support system around you you will have all these uh, fantastic seniors at college who help you who guide you who mentor you uh, who provide you with resources to get to be a part of the community where you uh, participate in uh, webinars with extraordinary speakers you you get to be a part of leadership series you get to listen to some amazing uh, speakers who talk about uh, college and careers and how to do how to succeed in life uh, and of course you get uh, an opportunity to uh, do internships with next seniors and with other affiliated organizations so uh, it's, it's a great opportunity of course uh, and uh, i invite you to join this community and you know uh, take this step towards becoming a leader of the future